In this video, I will introduce Cardano, one of the most serious competitors to Ethereum. If you are new here, I'm Julian, and on In The Blocks, I teach blockchain development. Cardano was created by Charles Hoskinson, a mathematician and software developer. Charles was a member of the founding team of Ethereum before leaving the project in 2014. In 2015, he started to work on Cardano. The development of Cardano is managed by the Cardano Foundation, which finances two companies, IOHK, which manages the R&D and the coding part, and Emurgo, which manages partnerships. The Cardano network was launched in 2017 and the smart contract capability was added in September 2021. The native currency of Cardano is ADA. It's currently the sixth largest crypto with a market cap of 53 billion. It has a total supply of 45 billion coin with 32 billion already minted and a 13 billion reserve. It's currently deflationary until all the reserve becomes depleted. The reserve is gradually distributed to the project treasury and as reward for stakers. The Cardano blockchain uses a proof-of-stake consensus algorithm called Ouroboros. For every block, the network selects the node that will create the next block. Cardano has two chains, the Cardano settlement layer, which records the value changes, and the Cardano computation layer, which records why a change has occurred. That's where smart contracts are executed. Cardano can process a few hundred of transactions per second and could go up to a few million per second with the Hydra L2 scaling solution. Cardano also provides interoperability with other blockchains with KMZ sidechains. There is more than 250 projects being developed on Cardano covering DeFi, games and NFTs. For example, there is SundaySwap, a Uniswap clone, Ardana, a stablecoin project and Meld, a lending protocol. To write smart contracts on Cardano, you can use either the Marlow or the Plotus language. Marlow is a high-level language that was designed for DeFi smart contracts. It's easier to use for non-programmers and has more safeguards in place, but it's not very flexible. Plotus is a lower-level language written in Haskell. It's more flexible, but not many developers are familiar with Haskell. To use these two languages, the only options are online playgrounds, and there isn't any equivalent to the Truffle framework at the moment. The equivalent of MetaMask for Cardano dApps will be Typhoon Wallet, Nami Wallet, and Yoroi, but the dApp support is not ready yet. In conclusion, I really like the academic approach of Cardano with their peer review research. I also like that every holder of ADA can vote for how to spend the treasury, contrary to the Ethereum Foundation, which is more opaque. However, I don't think the developer and user tools are ready yet to build production dApps. Do you think Cardano or Ethereum has a brighter future? Let me know in the comments down below.